Hi, my name is Maureen and I'm here with Miguel and Fabian and we're going to do a rowing workout. We're gonna start with some simple rowing drills to get warmed up and then we are gonna go into a more high intensity workout. We're gonna do six by two minute pieces. So what we're gonna do is start, we're gonna get our feet into the rowing machine, into our foot stretchers. And if you haven't already, we're gonna set our damper to anywhere between three and five. The higher the setting on the damper, the heavier your boat is gonna feel, but we want it between three and five. So we're going to do a drill where we just add in piece by piece um, some body parts. So we're gonna start at the finish right here. Your arms are gonna be kind of relaxed and we're just gonna let our arms go straight out and straight in. So we're just doing arms only rowing. Take a few strokes here. We're gonna pay attention to what our chain is doing. So we want it to be parallel with the floor and it's not doing any kind of like crazy up and down motion. It's, you should feel kind of a little bit of tension in your chain. And your arms are going straight back. As you're pulling, you wanna feel a little bit of weight on your feet. Good, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our body. So we're gonna let our arms go out and we're gonna take our torso a little bit forward, so if we were gonna look at a clock, we would want our torso to be pointed to like 11 o'clock on a clock, and then we're gonna pull our torso back to one o'clock on a clock and pull our arms. So we're gonna go arms, back, back, arms. So we're doing arms and body rowing. So right here, you're gonna feel a little bit of weight on your feet, and your torso like I said, was moving from 11 o'clock to one o'clock and your chain is still parallel with the floor. So we'll take a few strokes here. All your power here is coming from your hip at this point in time. So any movement that your torso is doing is because you're bending from your hip. Good. So from here, we're gonna go arms away, chest forward. We're gonna do a half slide. So we're gonna just let your knees pop up a little bit, half slide up the, the slide and push. Arms away, swing, half slide, just like that. So rowing is actually a push, it's not a pull. So when we're incorporating half slide, we wanna make sure that we're starting the stroke by pushing with our legs and not so much pulling with our arms. The arms kind of pull the last second. So big push. Just getting a feel here. All right, in two strokes, we're gonna go up all the way to the full slide right here. Here's one, here's two. We're going full slide all the way up, push. So when we're full slide rowing, we get up to the catch, we want our shins vertical. So once your shins go vertical, that's when you push with your legs. You can also lift your heels a little bit. Your feet don't have to be suction cupped to the foot stretchers. Let those heels lift and then push with those legs. Good, so now we're gonna incorporate a pause drill. So we're gonna do three regular strokes and we're gonna pause after the finish at arms away, starting right here. That's one, two, three, arms away, pause. And then when I say row, we're gonna do the whole rest of the stroke. And row, chest forward, knees go up, push. Three regular strokes, one, two, Three, arms away, pause. And row, chest forward, knees go up. One, two, three, arms away, pause. We're gonna add a second pause here. So we're gonna add a pause at arms away and then a pause at the swing over right here. So we're swinging our body, again, like that other drill, we're swinging our body from one o'clock to 11 o'clock. And row. Three regular strokes. That's one, two, three, arms away, pause. Row, pause. And row, knees go up. One, 
two, three, arms away, pause, row, pause, row, knees go up, one, two, three, arms away, pause, row, pause. Nice, so on this next one, we're gonna go right to this position. We're gonna eliminate the arms away pause. We're going right to the arms away swing over. And row, knees go up, push. One, two, three, arms away swing pause. So this position right here is very important, establishing your swing over. So just note what it feels like. And row, knees go up, one, Two, three, arms away, swing, pause. We're gonna do that one more time. Row. One, two, three, arms away, swing, pause. Okay, so we're gonna pause here at every stroke now, but we're gonna incorporate a three second slide for slide control. So we're gonna use our hamstrings to control ourselves coming forward within three seconds, and row. One, two, three, push. Arms away, swing, pause. Establish that catch angle, row. One, two, three, push. Pause, row. One, two, three, push. Arms away, swing, pause. Row, one, two, three, push. Pause, row. One, two, three, push. Pause, okay, so that was our last pause. We're going to eliminate all pauses and we're gonna keep the three seconds up to establish slide control. And row, one, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. We're still doing that swing over, we're just not pausing. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. So now we're basically rowing. What we're gonna do, we're doing three seconds up to that catch. We're just gonna smooth it out a little bit. Maybe take one part drive, two part recovery. And now we're just rowing. So we're still doing all those pieces of the pause drill. We're just not pausing, so we're still hitting all those marks. Since we're doing a higher intensity workout, we're gonna increase our stroke rate in this warm up. So we're just gonna move our arms and torso a tad faster in the recovery. And let's just do a few strokes. We're gonna get up to 28 strokes per minute. We'll take a few strokes there. You can listen to your fan. The bigger the whoosh, the more power you're providing. We're gonna take three more strokes. That's two. That's three and let it run. All right, are we all warmed up? Nice. <laughs> so, since we're all warmed up, we're going to set our clocks for some intervals. Today we're doing six by two minute intervals. So what we're gonna do, we'll set up the performance monitor. We're gonna do a select workout, new workout. We're gonna do intervals time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this for two minutes work, one minute rest. We're going to hit this plus. We're gonna make a blinking two, just like on a digital clock. And then we're going to use this right arrow. We're gonna hit it one, two, three, four times. So we have that blinking zero under set rest time. We'll hit the plus again. So we have two minutes work, one minute rest. And then we are going to hit this check mark right here. So on this display, we want to make sure that we have a, the 500 meter split on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit units until we see slash 500 meters on the clock. So this big number right here is what we're looking at for your split. The lower, the better. And then we're going to focus on stroke rate, which is right here where it says S slash M, which is strokes per minute. Cool, so we're set up now for a two minute interval. We wanna make sure our screen is set to a um, 500 meter split. The goal here will be to have your split be as low as possible for all six. 
and we want them pretty consistent. So if you do the first one all out and don't have energy for the next five, we don't really want that. We want to have nice consistent pacing all the way through all six. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get into our rowers. I'll do the first one with you to establish the stroke rate. So we're going to get up at the catch. And we're going to head um, for a 28 stroke per minute. Everybody ready? And row. So we're establishing that rhythm, 28 strokes per minute. All right, so I'll get off my rower and check your form a little bit. So, right here we wanna make sure that you're pulling in to about chest height. So the, uh, the handle goes straight out, straight in, chain perpendicular to the floor, but it's gonna go to right about chest height. Nice, we're looking for vertical, chin's vertical for um, the catch position. And then he's going to slam his heels down to get the power from the catch. Looking good. Got about 45 more seconds of this row. So this is a high intensity workout. So if you're doing the two minutes, um, this is when you're really gonna wanna be pushing yourself for the last few meters to get as many meters as possible. You can always go back to your drills that you're thinking about. If you had something that was giving you a little bit of trouble during your drills, um, going back and thinking about that for a couple strokes at a time is very helpful. That way you're always practicing something. There's always something that you can be focusing on or working on. Good job, you have 10 more seconds of this interval. Looking good. Nice. Awesome, so we've got a one minute rest interval here. And let's have you guys, once you've caught your breath, we're gonna just paddle it out a little bit for this one minute. So you don't have to have any pressure behind the oar at all, but just move the body so um, you can get all that extra lactic acid out of your body. Looking good. This is a good opportunity also to work on some of the little form corrections that you wanted to work on. You can still feel a connection with the chain without giving yourself a lot of power behind your stroke. So it's a good opportunity to really focus on that. And then once you get to the 10 second to go mark on your rest, I would start picking up the pace so we can get into that 28 stroke rate again. So just. We wanna get it running when, um, when the meters don't count. So we're at top speed right when that two minute mark goes. Good. I like to start my pieces establishing a good rhythm with a stroke rate. So really hit that 28, nice long powerful strokes. Awesome. And every stroke, when you're looking at the 500 meter split, ideally it's consistent. So you're seeing the same split every stroke. That takes a little bit of practice to do. So if you're a beginner, you're gonna kind of find your sweet spot and go from there. If you um, are a little bit more practiced, you wanna be consistent every stroke and see the same split over and over again, same power. So we'll take a few strokes to focus on that swing over that we practiced in the pause drill. So when we do the arms away swing over, you wanna make sure your wrists are over your knees before your knees come up. So establish that catch angle. Great, that was a really good correction. You can see that they um, are swinging over 
before their knees come up and then their knees are just popping up right through a little window from the oar handle, chest and arms. They make a little window that your knees can pop right up through. Good, last 30 seconds here. Nice, you can hear the fans going, adding a little bit of power. Ten more seconds. Looking good. And rest. Good. Let's paddle it out. I'll uh, join you on this next one to get started. During your rest time, you can grab some water and just um, hydrate a little bit or just paddle it out or you can completely get off your rower, maybe do some stretches if that's what you wanted to do. So if you, if you wanted to do a few stretches, you can pull your legs out from the foot stretchers and then you can do a little piriformis stretch, cross over one leg over the other and do a little bend forward. And then switch. Bend forward. Good. And then we'll just get back in our rower and we'll start our next interval. Let's grab our oar handle, get to the catch, and ready, row. We're getting up to that 28 stroke rate. We're gonna establish a good rhythm. Or handle straight in, straight out. Nice, you can listen to your fan. Make it whoosh. Right from the catch. Wanna hear a nice, loud fan. We'll take about 10 strokes for getting some power with the legs. Think about your legs. You're slamming those heels down at the catch. Looking good. I'm gonna get off my rower for a little bit. Check out what's going on over here. Looking nice. You should really feel the burn now. You can kind of think about your shin angle. So as you're coming up to the catch, once your shins get vertical, you're slamming those heels down. That helps you activate the glutes and the quads so you can get a nice push with the legs. Rowing is a lot about feeling, so you wanna feel like you have tension on the chain and in the stroke from the beginning and all throughout the stroke. Every stroke, you should feel tension on that chain. If you don't feel tension on the chain, you're gonna to wanna to go back to that drill a little bit, the pause drill so you can figure out where the kinks are a little bit. So we have a one minute rest. We're gonna paddle it out. So we're halfway done. I always like to smile at halfway. It releases endorphins and it makes you feel better. So you can also smile halfway through your pieces as well. It really does make you feel a little bit better throughout um, those hard pieces. How are we feeling? Awesome, they're working. <laughs> Got about 20 more seconds of rest. You really are gonna want this rest. Work so you can want the rest. If you don't feel like you need the rest, you're not working hard enough. All right, we're gonna start rowing into it a little bit. We've got about five more seconds, so let's get that stroke rate up. Okay, we're on for the two minutes. Good, we're gonna establish that rhythm. You can visualize yourself floating through the water. Every stroke, you're sending your boat just a little bit further. 
and then you're gliding up during the recovery period. So the catch part, the catch and the drive, that's when you send your boat flying. The recovery when your body's coming forward is your relaxation, you get to rest. In between every stroke is your recovery. So you're just floating up, you're gonna send your boat and you're floating up to the catch to take that nice good stroke. When it starts to get a little bit hard, I always tune into the form again. You can get a lot of distance by having good form. You kinda have to work smarter, not harder sometimes, or smarter and harder. One more minute to go. And our rowers are rowing together. We're all in the same boat. See if you can send your boat a little bit further. Every stroke, listen to your fan. Make it whoosh. Let's take 10 more strokes to get your fan a little bit louder. Yeah. Good, see if you can drop your split by five seconds. These last few strokes, you only have a few more strokes. See if you can drop that split by five seconds. Woo! Killing it. Looking good, looking good. Nice, all right, we've got another rest interval. Paddle it out. You can get some water during the rest intervals. Great job so far. So we have two more. That's only four more minutes of work. That's nothing. You can do anything for four minutes with one minute in between to rest. So if you are really tired and you have some tight muscles, you can also do a few stretches in between your, your rest period. It's only one minute though, so you gotta get back on your rower after a few seconds. All right, so let's start paddling again. We're gonna slowly get up to that 28 stroke rate. We wanna get, be at the 28 stroke rate by the time the one minute is up. So we're hitting our interval hard. Good, establish that good rhythm. Don't forget your lay back and swing over. So your torso is going from one o'clock to 11 o'clock on a clock. So you've got a little bit of swing in the torso. Lean back and let your arms come away. Chest comes forward before those knees pop up. Great. Take a few strokes to check into what your chain's doing. We shouldn't see a lot of wobbling in your chain. Your arms go straight in, straight out. Your oar handle goes just below the chest. Good. Sometimes you think your oar handle should be a little bit lower, but you want your oar handle to be kind of high. Keep your hands a little bit higher. That helps you get a connection with the rower and the chain so you can feel tension right from the beginning of the stroke. Good, we've got about one more minute here. Let's think about that power here. How much can you push? How many more meters can you row in this 45 seconds that we have? Nice. Make it count. You wanna stay, take long, powerful strokes. Send your boat further every stroke. There we go. You can hear the fans going when they're really trying. A few more seconds. Woo! Sprint finish. All right. Nice. Take some time to rest. We have one more interval. So rest up during this one minute. This next piece, this is the last one. So this is our sprint finish. This is for all the marbles. We're going to let it 
all out. So empty your tank in this last minute. So it's an open stroke rate. Let's have you guys go nuts. We want good form still, but this is like your Olympic race. We're gonna see how far you can get this boat to go. How low can you get your split to go? It's only two minutes. So how far can you go in two minutes? So once you guys stretch out a little bit, get back on the rower, get your feet back in. This is our sprint finish, our home stretch. It's okay if you let the stroke rate go up a little bit higher on this one. All right, let's get that boat going. All right, let's row. This is it, this is your Olympic race for the gold medal. Good. We're still gonna establish that rhythm. We're getting the oar in the water and we're pushing. Push with those legs. We're sending that boat. Good, you still wanna think about form, so get your arms away, swing over, establish that catch angle. That helps you push a little bit more with your legs. And it's all legs. Very good. When we get to the one minute point, we've got a few more seconds, 10 more seconds to go before we have one minute left. That's your sprint finish. We wanna empty the tank at one minute. You can do anything for one minute. All right, let's see it. One minute to go. Let's hear those fans. Good. You can go faster. Push, push. Let's see if you can get that split down. Can you lower your split by 10 seconds? Nice. We got it, we got it. I can see the finish line. Awesome. Looking good, looking good. Yeah. Looking good. We've got about 15 seconds to go. Nice long strokes, nice long strokes. Woo, all right, nice. That was our sixth <laughs> interval. A lot of power here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna let you guys rest for a little bit. We're just gonna paddle out a little bit. Just a little cool down. So we're gonna gently get back in our rower and we're just gonna row it out a little bit. If you're doing, if you're racing in a boat, you have to row your boat back to the dock, even if you're tired. So we're just gonna paddle a little bit. I know we worked really hard, but we want to just get that lactic acid out of our legs, get our heart rate to come down a tad. So we'll take about 30 more seconds to row it out. Once you've recovered a little bit, you can start incorporating what we did in those drills at the beginning of class. We're not gonna pause, but we're just gonna bring it back to the form. So we wanna make sure that we're gonna have our arms away, your body swings over, knees pop up after that. And then we just have a little push at the catch Send the boat just a little bit. Make sure you're feeling a connection in your legs as you're pushing. Good. We're going to take about three more strokes and then we're going to rest. That's one. That's two. That's three. And let it run. We can just place a war handle in the handle hook. And that is class for today, good job. If you want, write down your distance on a piece of paper so you can record it and you can see if you can beat your distance tomorrow.